Okay, so at the beginning of this tutorial I would like to tell you a few things that you should definitely know before starting your head model. So at the beginning you should definitely do a little bit of research about human anatomy and particularly about head anatomy. So good starting point for this is just school anatomy. You should google it, find some good school image references. You should study it pretty closely. If you can draw you can do some sketches but I highly recommend you to do a few 3D models of the skull just to learn all the most important shapes of the skull. So right after the process of learning the skull you can you can move to to the muscles and in my opinion you should definitely learn the position of the muscles you should really think about how they move how they behave in movement you should definitely think how how they look below the the skin surface I think this, this research is very important. Without this anatomy, correct anatomy knowledge, you, you won't be able to just do a, a correct human or, or just head model. So you should definitely learn it pretty well before starting your head model. So all this basic knowledge about bone structures and the muscles will help you to understand different types of the characters. So I have some images here. Most of these images comes from the 3DSK of course. So you can see we've got different characters we've got some Asian guy, we've got white guys and we've got uh, one Afro-American so for example doing this Afro-American character you will have no difficulties seeing that his nose should be big, his lips should be big and fat he, his nose should be definitely bigger than for this white guy but I want to make you think also a lot about shape of the skull because in my opinion it's very important. You can compare for example a black guy, Afro-American to the Asian guy and you can see that the shapes of the skulls are pretty different. And I have some examples here in Photoshop you can see more clearly differences between for example Asian people and this one Afro-American Asian people for example tend to have really round face and watching it from the side it's very flat comparing for example to this lady So in our tutorial we will be making this Afro-American so we will have to be aware of the shape of the skull really and I find out that Afro-Americans tend to have pretty narrow forehead so we have to keep this in mind really while working on our character and of course on the rest of the features like pretty big nose, lips and stuff like this even this one has a little bit weird ears so we've got lots of differences between these characters okay so for this part I think that's it mainly I was trying to show you that you have to be accurate if it is about anatomy and you should definitely prepare yourself for modeling so let's get started our model